everybody. So I'm going to get started and make a, I what I hope is a very simple, straightforward batch of soap today. <laughs> um, I'm using wine in my lye water. Um, I've never worked with wine in my lye water before, so I just did um, a few ounces and I boiled it down to get rid of the carbonation. But the wine that I'm using is from our local Buckeye Lake Winery and this is a Sweet Lake View. I really want to just like open the bottle right now and take a drink. That's probably not um, looked on very nicely when you're working with lye. <laughs> anyway, yummy. If you like a Moscata, this is a very similar kind of um, Moscata wine. So I'm going to set it over here even though I'm super tempted. Um, I have my oils mixed. It's a pretty basic recipe and um, I have, like I said, I put the um, lye water has a little bit of um, a replacement with the wine and it looks a little, um, well I'll just show you. Like I said, I've never worked with it before so I don't really know what it should or shouldn't look like but I. I can understand that it would discolor the lye water because it is wine, but um, that's what it looks like. So it's a it's a really odd color, and I'm gonna put it through a strainer and make sure that I'm not getting any unwanted chunks in there. So um, the fragrance oil that I'm gonna whew, shoot, what did I knock over? Um, the fragrance oil that I'm going to use is called, where did it go? It's called Merlot Wine Fragrance Oil. I know it maybe doesn't match the Sweet Lake view. Um, and if I like to use the wine in this, which I think I want to do, I may go sit with um, one of the gals at the winery and just kind of pick their brain a little bit. like. What are the different things that they use for the Sweet Lake View? What's in that? What are what are in their different kind of wines? And then try to do a better job with matching up the scents. But I have a craft fair coming up and I'm just trying to make some simple bars and I wanted to give the wine a try. So um, that's what I did this time around. So maybe I'll work on it for a little bit different, a little bit um, more closely of a match the next time. Um, and then the colorant that I'm going to use is a color by Brambleberry and this one is called Crimson Red Wine Mica Powder. So that's what I'm going to use. And it's just going to be simple, one color, and that's it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pour the lye water in and see if I can get it strained and not get any chunks. And the lye water um, with the wine in it also has an odd smell, but I was watching one YouTuber and she mentioned that as well, so I think I'm okay. Um, get over there. So yeah, we'll see. Here we are. Let me move my fragrance oil lest I should spill it, because that's kind of what I do. gentle mix here. Mmm, man, it smells yummy. I'll go ahead and give it a mix and see what we do. Woo! And it pretty quickly came to um, a trace there. That's kind of when I soap at room temperature, I notice that. I get this um, thick trace and then I stir it a little bit, just hand stir it, and it'll kind of um, loosen up again. So that's pretty typical for what my oils do and when I soap at room temperature. So yeah, you can see it, it loosened up again. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of the colorant in it that I want to use. And... I've been using this melon baller for colorants, which is not necessarily the best choice. 
because the melon baller has a hole in it and I tend to make a big old mess. But it's what I have in front of me. So I'm going to use the large end because I want a good amount in here. And get on there. And that's the only color I'm going to use. Like I said, this is um, going to be super simple. Hopefully. No surprises. There. A little poof. Man, that fragrance oil, you can really smell it. Love it. I'm going to um, scrape down the sides here a little bit. Try to get all that color incorporated in there so there's no clumps or lumps. So my idea with this is um, all the ladies in our neighborhood, um, I would love to invite over and do like a sip and soap one evening and get some wine from the winery and um, have everybody come over and maybe watch how to make soap. And um, I think that would be a lot of fun. We've talked about that a time or two and I, I think there are several of them that would be interested in doing that. So a sip and soap and this will be a perfect one for that. Oh man, I wish you could smell this. Just really want, makes you want to have a glass of wine. <laughs> I'm going to scrape down the sides again. And then I think I'm just going to go ahead and maybe bring it to a little bit of a thicker trace. And then just go ahead and pour it um, straight into the mold. Like I said, super simple. My first time working with um, a wine. So I didn't know what to expect and I was a little nervous with that. Yeah, this is starting to thicken up already, which is perfectly fine. It's not like I'm trying to do anything swirly or too fancy with it. And that's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and um, get this down into the mold. Get out of there. We want every little bit in the bowl, not on you. So I love the winery. Um, it's a great place to uh, take the boat over to in the evenings. Um, they have a beautiful outdoor area that overlooks the lake. Um, owned by um, really nice folks. Um, they have goats there that can be seen roaming around. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to um, see them hanging about. Alright, so let's just go ahead and get this poured in the mold. If I have any left, I have um, a small mold over here to the side and I'll try to put some in there. Alright, I'm going to bang this down a little bit before I try to pour the rest in. I'll be right back. Okay, let's see if we can get the rest poured in here. I always bang on the floor because if I bang on my table and I don't have my camera positioned right, there goes everything. I've done that before. That's perfect. So I have these little tiny mini um, soap molds that I just got from Crafter's Choice and I think I'm just going to pour this into there. See if I can get one or two out of this. Um, I've had some requests for some smaller soaps. So we'll see if I can uh, get a few out of this. Mmm, man, you guys, this smells amazing.
I'm working on my lighting and everything. I don't remember, I don't think I've posted the video where I talked about I had to um, move my crafting space, my soap studio, um, had to move it to a new location because I was kind of outgrowing my area, which is a good problem to have. Um, but I'm kind of struggling with how to reorganize myself, so I'm working on that. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys know what that's like. So I'm going to smack this down and I'll be back. Alright, so I'll bang down. Um, I just did just some, a teeny little bit of texturizing on the top of it. Nothing, nothing fancy, like I said, just a really simple bar. And then what was left over, um, I worked down into my little um, Crafter's Choice guest molds. Like I said, I had some customers, customers requesting some smaller sample sizes. So I have a small wholesale account, so um, I will take these to um, the, the company that has my wholesale account and just ask them if they feel like this is the right size, too big, too small. I don't think it's going to be too big, but um, maybe a little too small. So we'll see. So um, that's it this evening. Um, like I said, it was pretty um, easy and simple this evening. I just wanted to experiment a little bit with the wine and again I ended up using wine from the Buckeye Lake Winery Sweet Lake View. So now after I clean up I get to have some of the Sweet Lake View. <laughs> Alright guys thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Oh actually I'll be back for the cut. Okay bye. Okay so this is how the loaf turned out. Um, it's got just um very simple, pretty design. One thing that I forgot to mention is I used natural spring water in this instead of the distilled water. So um, that was a little different for, for this loaf as well. Um, and it all looks just pretty much the same. Um, obviously not going to be too much of a variation, I just used the one color. So pretty simple. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it up. I won't bore you with the entire cut because um, they're all going to look the same. But um, I I like the scent. Mm, I'm not a fan of it as much as I was when um, when I first poured it. Still the um, you can still smell pretty heavily the um, Bucket Lake Winery wine which is really good. I'm just not sure how it mixed with the Merlot scent maybe that wasn't a great pairing. It still smells really good. I'm just not sure if I make it again, which I'm sure I will, I don't know that I would pair those two scents together. I definitely think I would choose something more fruity for it. Um, so just a really simple pretty color um, of soap. Not super fancy. Um, but it smells really nice. I do like it a lot. But not um, not as strong of a scent as when it was first um, poured. But yeah, I definitely like it. You can see maybe um, a tiny bit of a variation in the color in the middle, but it'll probably cure out and look all pretty much the same color. So that's it. Um, I'll put some pictures up at the end so you can take a look at them. And that's my first attempt at a wine soap. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye!